can't get enough of you, babe Bottles open up so you can try and open up for me, babe M.I.A. and M.I.A. You do you, girl, the head is gon' head Cut them off like you a sensei, girl girl princess that's here back with another video today i'm gonna show you how i achieve this look to see how i achieve these curls just stay tuned all right you guys so i'm gonna take my got to be glue i'm gonna put that all around my edges and brush it back because i don't want to get none of the ghost bond glue on my edges so i'm just going to take um the got to be glue and just rub that all around and push my hair back um so after i do that <clears throat> i'm going to really get some more got to be glue and get on the sides good because when you put it on the ghost bond the sides is where you put the most glue at so your hair can really stick so you want to really make sure your edges is out the way now I'm just going to take my orange copper wig and <clears throat> put that on. All right, so now I got all my uh, clips in place and my strap adjusted. I'm gonna take my um, XL Ghost Spine Glue. So you need to take your wig cap, your wig, and um, pull it back. And you're going to just put small dots around your hairline, two inches above of the glue. Then you take the point of something like, um, like the point of your comb or anything with a tip and just brush that back some that's why i say put the glue like two inches above your hairline so it doesn't get inside the glue <clears throat> excuse me you're gonna have to do this step for you have to apply this four times you're going to do the dots small ones as part small and then brush it back and it does get very tacky but before you apply each layer, you need to wait until that first layer that you put on is dry. And it's um, not completely dry, but to where it's not white and it looks clear. Then you apply the next layer and you wait till that turns clear. And then you um, do it again. So I'm just going to apply the glue, brush it back, wait till it turns clear, clear, and then repeat the step again. Okay, also forget to mention, before you apply your um, glue, you need to uh, clean the area with alcohol. I already did this prehand off camera, so I wanted to um, let that be known. Sorry, you guys. Alright, so after I apply my last layer, I'm going to take my wig and bring it down uh, on top of the glue. I'm going to um, pull each side down tightly 
and just hold the sides there for about a minute or two to let it, um the glue and the wig, you know, start to stick together. Then you want to take the tip of your rat tail comb and just lightly press that in. You don't want to press down too hard to where um you press some of the glue up onto your wig hair. You don't want that to happen because it will pull the um hair out. So that's when you do it very lightly and um just make sure you really push it in good. All right, you guys, so now it's time to do my baby hairs. I usually wear um, my hair down, so I'm probably only going to do, like, one on each um, side. But I'm going to keep, I'm going to go ahead and cut the hair down just a little bit to make it a little bit um, shorter. I'm going to use my got to be glue to uh, form my baby hairs. I put just a little bit on the hair, and then I use my finger and my rat tail comb. Oh, not my rat tail comb, but um, or any kind of regular comb, and just um, use that to form my um, edges, my edges, my baby hair. <clears throat> After I do that, I um, just make sure that the uh, sizes on the um, tip is pushed down, as you see me checking right there. Uh, after that, we're going to do the other side. All right, so you want to make sure all the hair is pushed back. And I just see right here, I'm just pushing down on the wig, so I'm just making sure that side is down. So um, taking my rat tail comb, and I'm just forming out the baby hair before I use my got to be glue to put them in place. So I take my red comb and my finger and basically just form that. I use the red comb as a guider to keep all the hairs in place. And then I'm going to um, part it off so I can grab the next section to make my uh, second baby hair. As you see, I'm just um, pulling, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just pulling the hair down and then I'm taking my got to be glued and then I'm going to do that same method. I had to cut it down a little bit because it was a tad too long for me and my liking, but if you like it like that, then by all means, girl do your thing so uh after i do that i just take my red comb and just help my um finger form that out and i like to leave that little piece hanging on the side that's just my pep my preference but yeah that's you know how i do my baby hairs Alright, so now I'm just taking my um, scarf and tying my hair down. I'm about to just, uh, I was about to take a little nap and do some cleaning. So I was going to tie that down to give my um, hair some time to really, you know, 
get on there nice and tight. So when you put your scarf on, <clears throat> just put it on real tight. All right, you guys. So this is um <clears throat> how I'm going to do these curls. Um, I guess I'm gonna call them flat iron curls. They almost remind me of like wand curls, just without you know the real tightness of them. So what you want to do is take a section of hair um depending on how big or small you want it. your curls i wanted mine like medium size small kind of you're gonna comb it out make sure ain't no type of um thread or, or anything to snag in it take your flat iron and pull down halfway and then honey you need to really flick that wrist and pull the hair on the other side on the um other side of the flat iron and just keep rotating and flicking your wrist along with the hair and that's how you achieve the curl so as you see me here trying to find the best place to section off a piece of hair i'm combing through come on bro this nigga trying to build on me get the shit out of here i'm taking my flat iron getting that part nice and flat as you see i'm twisting it and pulling the hair over Pulling down and doing it again. And I'm just going to repeat that process all over. All right. <clears throat> All right, you guys. So right here in the front, I wanted to like make my curls off to the side and kind of like poofy because I wanted it to, like be lifted up and poofed off in my face, but still curly on the side. So to achieve that, you're going to curl down and upward facing out. Do not curl towards your face. Curl away. And you're going to do the same the method by pulling down and curling. But when you let the curls down, you want to kind of grab it with your hand and then slowly let it come down. So you can achieve that type of curl. And you're going to make your sections um, <laughs> longer but not um, thicker. You're going to part going down towards your face. So when you curl going in and down, it'll um, give the effect of the hair going off to the side. And you're just going to repeat that until you get <laughs> to the very top of um, the hair. And excuse the extra noise in the background. That is my boyfriend. He is playing Fortnite. So, sorry about that. And you're just going to keep on um, twisting. If, if the uh, ends don't look curled enough for you, you can just 
go back on the ends and twist it one time and then just repeat the method over again with the next section All right, so when you get to the top, you're going to make your sections a little bit smaller and still do the same way parting down. So you still have to lift my arm up so I could um, get the curl better. You want to really, um, when you curl, really try to get that top part flattened um, nice and straight, as you see. Okay. I take the flat iron and I run through it once. And I go down and pull going towards the side of your head. That's so you can get that curl effect of it swooping. You're going to continue to do the same pull down and flip over method. And you're just going to hold it. Sorry, I was watching Power um, earlier when I was filming me curling my hair. And then that's it. You have to like uh, use your fingers and pull back <clears throat> the hair some to also uh, give it that effect. But this is the final look of my curls you guys hope you like it leave it down in the comments if um how you feel all right you guys so this is the finished look on my curls i'm not exactly sure what to call them i guess i'm just gonna call them like flat iron curls i don't want them to be uh super curly or super tight because um i am going to pull my hair up in a ponytail because i have to work tonight but yeah this is it. So, let's talk about this hair. I've had this hair in for about um two weeks, three weeks, or four. I don't know exactly, but I'm gonna. It's been about two weeks, two to three weeks, three to four weeks. But I'll have like the correct date of how long I had it on the screen somewhere on here. But, um, I did record coloring this hair and how I did my roots and stuff, but somehow it got deleted from my phone. So, yeah. So, I'm basically just going to tell you how the hair is after me coloring it, bleaching my knots. Um, and then I went back and colored the roots black. I think it just looks better. Like that. Yeah, okay, so, um... I'm going to start off with the things that I do not like. When I was bleaching the knots the first time, it didn't really take. So I had to go back and bleach it again. It, you know, it still came out okay. But I had to put a little bit of makeup on my cap to make it blend better. Because it still was like, you could still like see like the dots and stuff. And that, that shit ain't cute. So yeah, um, that's one of them. The other problem is after I colored the hair and bleached the knots, I have gotten some shedding. Not a lot of shedding, but I have gotten a good bit of shedding from this hair. The back doesn't, it does nape a little, but other than that, the hair is perfect. It still has that same soft texture that it had when I first ordered it. It's just, I don't know. The cap was a bit, the wig was a bit big. So I had to cut off on the sides here so it could fit my head better. Um, yeah. This is some really good hair. And I only paid two fourteen, dollars which I don't think is that bad for a very nice, affordable wig. Oh, and this shirt right here. It's so fucking bomb. It's just, it won't stay up. 
I got this when I was in Jersey. And these pants, you guys. Like, I do have to wear a belt with them. Because Route 21 pants are always big at the top. But yeah. These jeans give me life. Outfit of the day. Yeah, but um, I got this shirt from uh, the mall in Jersey. And then I got my jeans from Route 21. They're just a little big at the top. But the bottom fit perfect. But, like, the top is so, like, loose. And I do not like that. But, yeah. This is it, you guys. Don't forget... To like, comment, and subscribe. And to see when I post new videos, just hit the notification bell. See you later. Yeah.